This might be one of the worst stories you've ever heard. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about 36 year old Derek Floyd, who died just four months after being fired by FDNY. That's the New York Fire Department. And the reason why they fired him was to free up some money to pay for the migrant crisis. Now, there's a lot we got to get into. There's a lot of different things we need to discuss, including that this is not clickbait. I'm not lying to you. We're going to read an article to dig through all the information. But first things first, we'll go back to the beginning picture. You see Derek Floyd with his family, his wife and his two children, ages six and two. Now, when he got fired, it was just before the time he would have been able to receive death benefits in the event of his untimely death. That would have given his family $600,000. But since he was fired before that happened, they get no benefits. Now, there's a fundraiser I'll link to in the box, but he gets the family gets no benefits because he got fired at a particular time to free up money for the migrants. Before we get to the article, million dollar question. Hey, ABL, how was this man 36 years old dying from a heart attack? Let me explain something to you about firefighting. You see, firefighters have some of the highest incidence of cardiac arrest out of any other profession in the country, maybe even the world, especially here in the USA, because the way it works with firefighters, when you're professional, you are at the station sleeping. So if the alarm goes off, you have to get up from a deep sleep and quite literally go from zero to 100. You're putting on heavy equipment. You're going into a fire or somebody's dead or whatever it is. That's a lot of strain on your heart. A lot of strain in your heart. And what happens is a lot of guys die on the force of heart attacks or some when they retire, they wind up dying. And in his case, he was kind of on desk duty because he had a previous heart attack. So that's what you, you, you're dealing with a job that has heart attacks as a risk. Therefore, there's death benefits and there are certain things already placed in there because they know that can happen to you. He was fired right before the death benefits kicked in, despite his years of experience. Now, you know, the reason why I know that is because my dad was a firefighter and died of a heart attack. And this is before C-19. He told me before the, I don't know if he was still living when the VAX came out. He might have been. But long before the VAX, long before he died, he told me, that he might die that way because a lot of other guys have done it. Some of his colleagues in their 40s and 50s, maybe even in 30s, dying of heart attacks because of the nature of the job. Okay, now before I go too far into it, let's get to the article right here so you can see that I'm not making this stuff up. And you see what it says right here. New York City firefighter 36 dies of a heart attack after being fired to pay for the migrants, leaving his family with nothing. All right, and again, this is a real article and it was put out yesterday, which is April 28th, 2024, on a Sunday. All right. An FDNY firefighter has died of a heart attack. Let's go back up. Just months after he was fired as part of the city's effort to free up funds for its migrant crisis, leaving the grieving widow and his kids struggling to keep a roof over their heads. Derek Floyd, 36, suffered cardiac arrest and passed away April 15th, four months after the city gave him the boot as part of a larger effort to pay our staff and pay for housing and services to tens of thousands of migrants flooding the Big Apple. This has got to be one of the worst headlines that I've seen. Okay, you're talking about guys that sacrificed their body, sacrificed their life at an early age for the city, for their family, and you fired them because, not because they were just, you know, not doing what they should have been doing, not for any other reason other than, than to free up some money to pay for the migrants. All right. You're a sanctuary city, sanctuary state, yet you got to fire guys that are doing the right thing, sacrificing their life, sacrificing their body for your city. Despicable. Anyway, Floyd was one of about 10 fire department employees who had been on long-term duty, either injured on the job and given office work or out sick for an extended period and fired weeks before Christmas, FDNY sources told the Post. All right. Floyd, a veteran who served three tours in the Middle East and with the Marines, had been among those working the desk job. 
tooling in the fire department chaplain's office because he had suffered another heart attack in 2019 while he was in the academy. Now, I don't know how long he was in the military and what that looks like as far as benefits are concerned. But, okay, you're in, you're in the academy, you have a heart attack there, which could happen. I'm not quite sure the way that they do their academy, but the way the academy in Virginia works, and what I was told by dad, he told me that it's like you go into class and like a full day of class. And then you do certain things. You go out there in the field, the dead man's pool and all that. You do things you would normally do as a firefighter. Uh, you might practice on like a, they, they stage a house and they burn it up and you go in there practicing that. So I'm not sure how, how it's done in New York or where you're training at. It's probably not going to be right there in the city, but we'll keep on going here. In a chaplain's office, a firefighter who was on modified duty helped arrange the funerals of fallen FDNY members. The married dad of two young children was trying to become medically cleared to be entered the firefighting force before he was fired. Florida just been shy of vesting additional medical benefits for his family and more than $600,000 worth of death benefits when he was booted, leaving his family with nothing despite his years of service. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Floyd, 34-year-old widow, Christine, told the post of the family's experience. I think it definitely took a toll once they let him go. She said of her husband's firing. He always tried to, like, stay positive about it, and he wasn't really angry. And when he got fired, that could have contributed to his heart attack because, as I was saying, what dad told me, and again, my dad died of a heart attack and was a firefighter 23 years in Norfolk. He was telling me that this happens when guys retire when they're not in the force anymore, that kind of accelerates, you know, any kind of heart problem that they may have. If they're on the force, it's less likely to happen, but it can happen on the force. And even, even when you're a firefighter, at active duty firefighter, you have a high chance of cardiac arrest versus other professions. I think it's like, what, a 15, 20% chance, some kind of crazy number. I, I looked it up before because I was curious, but it's a really high number, higher than any other profession. Anyway, but you see a person and the wheels are turning in their brain where they're constantly thinking. So I think it, it, it did affect us. After Floyd was fired, he found a job with a nonprofit that helps veterans, but the pay was a fraction of what he made with the FDNY. The benefits were limited and the hours prevented him from spending time with their kids, a six-year-old boy and a two-year-old girl. One thing about, again, back in Virginia, what I know about being a firefighter, you work 24-hour shifts and you work nine days a month. So you got plenty of time off to be with your kids. Even if you work other jobs, like you could be a firefighter eight, nine days a month, 24 hour shifts. Maybe you do a part-time job beyond that, but you got a lot of time to be with your kids because you're not at work eight hours a day. You, you see what I'm saying? You do 24 hour shift, nine days a week. And then sometimes the wife can bring the kids up to the station. That's kind of the way it is. But anyway, he used to be so present for like our kids and stuff. Being a firefighter was something he was really passionate about. He was really big time, like a family person. He was all about his kids. And there we go. You know, got the flag on the casket. And that reminds me of when my dad died. They had the firefighters from Norfolk. They came and they had the flag and they gave me the flag afterward. I still got it downstairs in my cabinet. If Derek would have stayed on, he would have had life insurance policy with FDNY, the widow said. That would have helped out financially because right now it's really bad. I'm honestly swimming in a lot of debt. So when dad died, I was able to get retirement money from Norfolk City Fire. It wasn't like I get paid consistently. It was like a lump sum, not a million dollars, but it was a nice little bit. You know, you're talking about five figures. And also he had like a 401k and that's what I was able to get. Okay. So I don't know what she would get. My dad actually retired. He did like 20 something years. I'm not sure what her husband, what he was going through at age 36. So yeah, that's, that's really crazy. But like I said, he was just shy of being able to get the benefits. Here's the last part. Floyd's firing was part of city hall's plan to slash the FDNY budget by 74 million by the end of 2025 to make way for migrant spending. It is unclear how many long-term duty staff will ultimately be let go as part of the effort but there are typically between 800 and 1,000 individuals so designated at any given time. The NYPD was also facing budget cuts out of $132 million through the action of five upcoming police academy classes, though, though three of these classes have been restored. The city of Department of Education was expected to lose about 
$557 million. Good grief. Listen, the city department of education was expected to lose about $547 million. But those funds are restored in the mayor's executive budget unveiled last week. And there is a man right there. I've seen that outfit many times, seeing dad in it. Yeah, he kind of looks like him, too. He kind of light-skinned like that. That's crazy. This, this is a really crazy thing for me to see. But anyway, Floyd's firing and the problems that have befallen his family since his death because of it have left some outrage. What disturbs me the most is that the FDNY is understaffed by hundreds of firefighters. Terminating Floyd was absolutely unnecessary. Uniform Firefighter Association President Andrew Ansborough told The Post he had an important job and the FDNY actually needed him in that unit. He was terminated so the department could prove that they were making cuts. He deserved better. Totally crazy. Now, some would say, well, that's a clickbait story, ABL. They didn't fire him for that purpose. Well, I mean, what, like, it's right there. What else needs to be said? He was fired because they wanted to make room for the migrants. That's just long and short of that. And it's really crazy. It's really unfortunate. But as I close, I want to say this. May Derek Floyd rest in peace and prayers out to his family, prayers out to his widow and his children. This is really crazy, but hey, the migrants, I guess, I guess the migrants are more important. I guess the, the, the crime they bring and the drugs and the ladies of leisure they bring on the streets of Times Square, I guess that's more important than guys who sacrifice their health and their life for the city to protect it. I guess that's the message, right? And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on the New York City Fire Department, FDNY, doing this to free up some money, all to pay for the migrants? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This was despicable, absolutely despicable. It's no excuse. And if you keep going like this in New York City, I mean, look, I, I wouldn't want to be there. I I don't want to be in the place where citizens and guys actually help the city go forward and protect the city are treated like trash. I don't want to be in a place like that. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.